Hey guys, what is up? I am finally getting closer to finishing my gaming room section. And this is actually in my garage. I'm getting pretty close to feeling good about it. It still needs a lot of work. Clearly my couch is full of stuff. This is in my garage and it's, it's a mess, but we are getting there. So I thought I would show you guys some of my stuff. I don't understand how, these are all level. I've got my level here and for whatever reason, it looks like just a complete mess. And I don't know why, because they are all level. MGS2, MGS3, MGS, MGS4, MGS4, Zelda, this piece, the vinyl from Metal Gear Solid, Fallout 4. Oh my kitty. What are you doing? We got obsessed with Attack on Titan, so clearly I had to get Attack on Titan. And then right now is just my Pulp Fiction poster, but I'm getting something commissioned that's gonna go there, and it's going to be horizontal, so that's awesome. I need to find a lampshade for that thing still because it's really annoying to look at. And so that's the wall art. I guess going this way, we have our Pit Boy from Fallout 4 Collector's Edition. I've uh, got my Rex right here. This is just the box. Oh God, the light turned off. Uh, behind it is our Death Stranding cargo case, and then there's the Death Stranding box, obviously. I have a little bit of Rick and Morty stuff, a chicken, and then in here, don't look closely because nothing is dusted, some of my Metal Gear figures, along with D-Puppy, because I feel like D-Puppy uh, would hang out with Sniper Wolf. All these bad boys, the wrecks I put together and painted. My little guys are laying down because <laughs> they won't stay up straight unless you tape them. Fallout area, I'll probably get some better shots of all this stuff with a light on. But like I said, that light's really annoying, so. And then just a bunch of random stuff. Like it's like semi Batman slash Walking Dead slash Rick and Morty slash <laughs> Resident Evil. Like it's just, a smorgasbord of stuff. And then this poster I just saw, this is actually a red light, green light poster from Squid Game, because I really liked it and I just never hung it up. Story of my life. I got this super cute light from my brother for Christmas. It's the codec. Can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous old snake. And then he also got me this really cool glass, which is Metal Gear Solid 3. And I feel like I want to put a light under it so that I can get a better Look at it, it's the boss and Naked Snake. Now that I'm gonna look at details actually, well, there's my little Sonic. Look how cute he is. And tails and nerd stuff. I'm gonna turn the light on so we can actually see that light is just so bright. Uh, this is kind of a smorgasbord right now of <laughs> stuff because I have a Minecraft fox house I'm gonna put in there and uh, some other things. So this is just kind of like a bunch of random nerd stuff and collectible stuff. And I got my Attack on Titan, the first four, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, one through four. four. Four volumes, so I'm gonna start collecting those. So that's probably gonna take up this area. And I won't have room for my stuffies, my plushies, so I'll have to move them. And then we got the Death Stranding slash art book area. The art of Metal Gear, the art of Tomb Raider. Got my little Tomb Raider, little Lara's here. The Metal Gear Solid 5 Collector's Edition, Hideo Kojima's book, Death Stranding Art. This little guy from the Collector's Edition. My brother just, he feeds my nerd desires basically during Christmas time, so he got me those. Or for my birthday, I can't remember. And we got Sam, Higgs, and obviously BB. And I do want the other one, but I can't justify it right now. And then this is where it just becomes kind of chaotic down here. This may look like just a cat thing, but it's where I keep all my pins. So I've got Fallout pins. We've got this super cute Tomb Raider uh, lanyard from Square Enix that my friend Pam gave me. She didn't want it, just adorable. This was from the PlayStation Experience, I believe. This was from the Bethesda booth. And then I've got a lot of like, I got coins, Assassin's Creed, keychains that I used to hang on my Christmas tree when I worked in an office. I had a little mini tree that was full of all the gamer stuff I could put. Uh, I got Playboy stuff. Um, got lots of Zelda stuff. This cute little, this little PlayStation controller. A little vault boy. I think I got that from E3, I believe. Um, a little chest here. Sorry, I'm not looking at the screen. 
don't know what I'm doing. There's a little monkey. I don't know what half this stuff is. A little analog. I haven't looked in here in so long. Loot crate. I kept some of the ones that I thought were cool. Arcade block. Mockingjay, I think. More Zelda. This is really cool. Resident Evil. I need to find somewhere to put this out, actually, because it's dope. What is this one from? This is from Sea of Thieves, I think. There goes the light again. Fuck me. Uh, this is Terminator. South Park pin, because I bought my husband the South Park kit for their big... There's just like a random zombie leg in there. I'm gonna keep this Resident Evil thing out because it's super cute. Continuing the pile of random stuff, we got a lot of super cute Sonic stickers, Zelda, South Park. I kept this Harley thing, I don't know why. I think I just liked this and I was gonna do something with that. That is from Walking Dead. This cute little mixture of characters, obviously Sackboy and um, Link and uh, Pip-Boy. And the big, big Daddy. Got Tomb Raider comics. This old piece from, I think that was Loot Crate or something. That thing's Coco. I did that for my son's birthday. I don't know why that's in here. What else do we have in here? This pile, we have the Walking Dead poster. Harley poster used to have hanging up, which is not anymore. Randomly have this Far Cry boomer card. Oh, from the PlayStation Experience. This cool piece of the Joker. This is another South Park. And then this is my um, PSM and uh, Game Informer collection that I kept. Um, so these are my some of my favorite ones. I wish I didn't throw like any out, but I did. Um, the Metal Gear one and this one were always like my super faves. God, the Grand Theft Auto one probably stole my cheat codes in it. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh no, it's not, but look at that. Did you see what that was? Look at that. Look at that. What year is it, baby? My cat is now getting into everything. Mama Key! Don't get in all my stuff. Oh, I miss PlayStation Magazine. Look at that. Look at Solid 3. I usually kept stuff that was like, had Metal Gear or Tomb Raider or like one of my favorites in that. So there's like Resident Evil 4, Metal Gear Solid 3, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, uh, Metal Gear, Tomb Raider. And then I had some Game Informers that I kept. And then there's a Game Informer that I ripped the cover off. Yeah, this one. <laughs> The Metal Gear Solid 5 one, and I have the cover somewhere. I just have to find it. So anyways, these I will keep forever. I had so many in my room for years and years. And then I finally, when I moved out, I just cleansed so much stuff, I feel like. And I just regret it now because I wish I had the whole collection. So anyways, this is my really organized <laughs> corner here. This is a bunch of random stuff. Game of Thrones, rest in peace. I brought a Bratz doll because I wasn't allowed to have a Bratz doll, so I bought my own when I was an adult. And then these are my husband's Game Boys. And then a ton of cords for all kinds of stuff. Oh, there we go, a green one. All of his games in here. Pokemon, we've got this one. All the Pokemon are in this one. There we go. I don't know, if I'm sure these are worth something now, but he's definitely not ever gonna sell them, so. <laughs> 13 bucks. All the Pokemons in here. Toy Story. And the bottom is just old Playboy stuff. That doesn't matter. And then we have our games and our consoles. This is definitely not all of them. Um, a bunch of them are inside at our other TV. So for now, what we have in here is we have the original Sega Genesis. Can you tell we stand South Park in this household? So we've got our Sega Saturn, the fat PlayStation 2, which is questionable. <laughs> it's pretty questionable at this point if this one works. Mine died years and years ago. There's a memory card in there. And so we always had the slim after. So I think this must be my husband's PS2. We have my husband's original PlayStation. <laughs> PlayStation 1 where he put sports stickers on it. So we've got the original baby. Mine is long gone. And then we have the PlayStation 2 slim. This is what I grew up well, after our PlayStation 2 died. And then we have the Wii U at this point. Um, I got that from my old job. Nobody wanted it anymore, so I took it. We have our PlayStation 3 collection, and it's two layers, yeah, two rows thick. Sports and Call of Duty and stuff are back there. So there we go, we've got our PlayStation 3 games. Here are our PlayStation 2 games. When I say our, these are basically all mine, except for a few or my husband's. We didn't have a ton of, ton of, ton of games growing up, but we had the ones that mattered to me. <laughs> and we even have this. Remember the demo discs? So, still works. God of War, the first one. It's that battle. The Hydra battle, yeah. There might be some inside, because we've been 
trying to play inside too. PlayStation 1 collection. And then this little thing here, because Sega Saturn games were so giant, uh, my parents got rid of the cases. Uh, and I feel like I've definitely showed these off before, but I'm gonna do it again just for old time's sake. I would laminate my cheat codes in tape. I would take pieces of tape and um, just tape the hell out of it so it wouldn't rip and nothing bad would happen to it. So I have my Tomb Raider 3 cheat code. I don't even know, all secret, I don't even know what <laughs> cheat code that was. Gaming secret cheats. Enter the matrix codes, I think that's probably why I had this. And Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness level skip code. Uh, we've got Tomb Raider Chronicles. Tony X Pro Skater 3. The good old days before the internet was easy peasy <laughs> to make do. And right off the bat, there's just a disc floating here, and it was my sampler disc for uh, PlayStation 1. I have a video of me playing some of these games, so I'll link that in the description if anyone's interested. Virtua Cop, uh, Sega Saturn, Say My Name, uh, Destiny's Child, so that's awesome. Sega Saturn is the sampler. It's kind of like that demo disc, PlayStation uh, interactive disc. Daytona USA, we used to play the hell out of that. Sonic 3D Blast, played that to death. I never beat it. I got to the end so many times and I would always die. This is the Final Fantasy demo disc. I've played this a million times and also had Bushido Blade, which was really fun. And then that's where this sampler disc must go. Jeez Louise, living on the edge again. And then Knights, oh my gosh, Knights. Never beat that either because that was really hard for me. And that was it, we didn't have a ton of games. And then the PlayStation came out not too long afterward. And my dad was like, no, we need the PlayStation. So that is that. And let's see what other games we've got here. Okay, I pulled out another box and this is just a box of Wii controllers. Um, we got the PlayStation Move in here, which I don't even know if I have the camera or anything for that. Uh, this is for the GameCube, which was important for Twin Snakes. So we have my husband's N64 games. Well, I bought him an N64, and then simultaneously his sister was on vacation in Hawaii at like her uncle's timeshare, and she found all of his old games. That's my husband's favorite game of all time on the N64. It's gotta be Zelda, Majora's Mask. And Donkey Kong 007. If you didn't have GoldenEye, like there's no way. And Pokemon Snap. And then last but not least, we have this little random corner here. Oh, this is the Wii guides. I guess I keep everything. And then we have our Sega Dreamcast, which is in the house right now because I got my husband an HDMI adapter for Christmas. So, but this was like his favorite Dreamcast game. So I wanted to get him that uh, HDMI adapter for Christmas. For the Genesis, I grew up playing this. So I think my husband bought me the Genesis when we were dating. And then we've got Lion King. And then we also had the mini Genesis, which has like a bunch of games on it. These are our Wii games. And I think some of these are his sister, but I guess she just didn't care. I, my son would love all of these. I only played Twilight Princess. I'm not like a big Super Mario fan because I grew up playing Sega. And that's it for in here. But like I said, I think we have two PS4s, two PS3s, uh, the Dreamcast, the Wii, and the N64 all inside. Not to mention the PlayStation 5, obviously, but. So these are kind of just like some of the retro ones and not all of them. So if I'm gonna move everything out here, I'm gonna have to definitely do some adjusting because we're not gonna have enough room, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And while I'm on the floor, here's some more of these guys. My Fallout collection. Metal Gear, Metal Gear. And then I've got this big, huge Sam poster that my friend got me for my birthday. He got it from his buddy from something. It's huge and it's beautiful and I love it. Ta -da. Well, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you thought some of it was interesting. I don't know. I clearly need two more lights for that uh, <laughs> case, but, and a poster and a lot. I need a lot to do still, but we're getting there. Thanks for guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.